Hello everyone, our topic for today's video is all about solving rational equation. Now we have two examples on the board, so we're going to solve number one first, and then after that one, we're going to check our answer if it is correct. Now let us start with number one. Now we have x plus 4 over a is equal to 3 over 4. In this case, we have our denominator a and 4. Now in order to solve this one, we need to find first our LCD. Now, our LCD for this example, since we have the denominator 8 and 4, so we're going to have our LCD, which is 8. Now, our LCD for example number 1 is 8. To solve this one, you need to multiply the LCD 8 to both sides of our equation. So, this is 8 multiplied to x plus 2 over 8 and then we have 3 4 multiplied to the LCD 8 next we have to simplify now in this case we can cancel 8 and 8 8 divided by 8 is 1 1 times x plus 2 we have x plus that is equal. Now we have 3 times 8 or you can divide 8 by 4. So 8 divided by 4, so we have 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now 3 times 2 that is 6. Okay. After simplifying, the result is x plus 2 equal to 6. Now we're going to simplify further to get the value of x. Next is, we need to put 2 on the other side. So, what we are saying is, we need to remove 2 from this side, so that what remains is our x. Now, we're going to x plus 2, subtract 2, the same on the other side, we also subtract 2. So what will happen is, to 0 and then x will remain. So s6 minus 2 is 4. Now, therefore, our x is 4. Now, after finding the value of x, which is 4, from our rational equation, we need to check our answer. Now, in this case, we're going to check using the original equation, we need to plug in the value of x, which is 4. In this case, so let us copy this one. So we have x plus 2 over 8 is equal to 3 fourths or 3 over 4. Now we need to plug in the value of x which is 4. So this will become 4 plus 2 over 8 is equal to 3 fourths. So 4 plus 2 is 6 over 8. This is 6 over 8, equal to 3, 4. Now, let us simplify this one because 6 over 8 can be simplified, simplified further. 6 over 8, we factor, let me erase, so we'll have our space. Six over eight is equal to three four. Now six over eight, we're going to factor the one. We have two times three over two times four is equal to three four. Now we cancel out both numbers two. Two divided by this one, so we have what remains is three four. So three four is equal to three four. So we have our answer. The value of x is 4. In our equation number 1, the value of x is 4. Then we check our answer and then we are equal. Now let us proceed with number 2. Okay. Anyway, we can rewind our video to see and check our Solution. Since my blackboard is very small, so that's why we need to erase 
to our space. Next is number 2. Once again, we're going to erase. To have our space for the problem number 2. Okay. Let us transfer the problem here. So, for us to get our solve. Number 2, that is 2. X minus 1 over x plus 3 equal to 5. Now, in this case, number 2, what is our LCD? So, there is only x plus 3 and remember that 5 do have a denominator which is 1. So, the LCD x plus 3 and 1, so we have the LCD which is x plus 3. So, we're going to multiply both sides with our LCD, which is x plus 3. In that case, the LCD is equal to x plus 3. So, we're going to multiply x plus 3 on both sides of our equation. So, this will become, we put x plus 3 first, x plus 3, multiply 2, 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. So the same, so we have 5 multiplied to x plus 3. Now we cancel out x plus 3. What remains is our 2x minus 1 and 5 times x, that is 5x, 5 times 3, that is 15. Next is to simplify further. We put 5x on the other side negative 1 on the other side, shortcut. So we have 2x, then 5x transpose, we put that on the other side, so it will become negative 5x, and we have 15, negative 1 transpose, we have plus 1. 2x minus 5x, that is, since negative is bigger than positive 2, negative 5, positive 2x, so we will have, negative 3x then 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 now to simplify further we need to divide negative 3x by negative 3 and 16 also be divided by negative 3 we cancel out what remains is the value of x which is negative 16 over 3 our value for x is negative 16 over 3. Now, time to check our solution if it is correct. Since the value of x here is negative 16 over 3. So, we're going to check our answer. Once again, let's erase this one. We just plug in the value of x directly. Okay, so in this case, we have 2 x, so we have negative 16 over 3, then minus 1 over x should be negative 16 over 3, then plus 3 equal to 5. Let's check if the value is 5. Now, 2 times negative 16 over 3, so the answer will be negative 32 over 3, then minus 1. All over negative 16 plus, uh, negative 16 over 3 plus 3. So we're going to combine this expression here. So our LCD is 3, put 3, and then negative 16. Remember that 3, the denominator of 3 is 1, so 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 3, we have plus 9, equal to 5. Then we're going to here this solution here. Now we have we need to combine the expression negative 32 over 3 and negative 1. So the 
final CD is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times negative by 2. So we have negative 32. And then, 3 divided by 1 is 3 times negative 1. So we have negative 3 all over. We just negative 16 plus 9 is negative 16 plus 9 is negative 7. So we have negative 7 over 3. And then equal to 5. Negative 32 and negative 3, that is negative 35. So we have negative 35 over all over 3 divided by negative 7 over 3 is equal to 5. So we are almost done. So let's erase it. Remember, negative divided by negative. Since negative 35 over 3 is negative number, divided by negative 7 over 3, so the result will be positive. So we have negative 35 over 3. Now in dividing fraction, we take the reciprocal and then we proceed to multiplication. This will become multiplied to negative 3 over 7 equal to 5. We cancel. Negative times negative is positive. So we cancel out 3 and 3. Negative times negative is positive. So we have 35 over 7 is equal to 5. Now 35 over 7 is 5. 35 divided by 7 is 5. 1, 2, 5. Therefore our answer is correct. Okay. Now thank you for watching.